All right, so we're gonna make this a quick video. This is my new uh, Benchmade Griptilian, and uh, I really like it. This is my first new Benchmade that I bought. Uh, my other Benchmades were all used, and they were already broken in. So this problem was fresh. Okay. What I was experiencing was the access lock binding to the point where I couldn't even pull it back. Obviously I fixed the problem now, but I saw a couple of people were sending their blades back to Benchmade and uh, reporting this issue. Once I get something, I kind of don't want to send it back unless I absolutely have to. So after going through things step by step, I'll tell you what I did to fix the problem. Okay guys, I was able to get my hands on a brand new, brand new Doug Ritter. This one is about two days old and you can see what I'm talking about here. So if you open it like this, it sticks a little bit, but it's not too bad. However, if you open it with a little more force, You can hear it stick. All right. So there's a little bit slower opening, less force. But if you flick it open, I don't have Nancy hands here. It just sticks like crazy. And if I'm being totally honest here, this is actually a little bit easier than it was a few days ago. What I did was basically go through each possible thing one by one and try to diagnose the issue. That way I wouldn't do too many things at once. I wanted to know exactly what was causing my problem and why. Uh, so what I started off with was I took it apart, cleaned everything off, and then uh, re-oiled just the pivot areas and then put it all back together still had the access lock binding it would stick to the point where you would almost have to use two hands to pull it back and again I've had this is my fourth bench made but my first new one so here's my 940 never had the issue but I bought it used so it was already well broken in We'll get to this one in a minute. Then I took it apart again, and I thought, well, let me polish the, the little washers. They're copper, so they polish really quickly. Not it. So then I thought, okay, well, Licks polish where they fit on the blade. And then I polished the inside where they move. You can kind of tell. Put it all back together. I was really hoping that would fix it. It did not. So then I thought, okay, what else is making contact? So then I thought, maybe it's the lock bar itself. Nope. Put a little polish on that, 
made sure there weren't any burrs on this anywhere. That wasn't it. So, my initial thought was, okay, since my other blades have been the satin finish or the brush finish, none with this uh, DLC coating or whatever this black coating is, I didn't have that on any of the other Griptilians that I had. The only one I did have that on was my 940. So I took my 940 apart and I saw that all of the areas that move inside where the lock bar hits, all the pivot points, those were all free of this coating material because the knife had been well used by this point. I've had this one uh, a, quite a few years I think and uh, I don't know how long the previous owner had it. But uh, this one is my go-to for a lot of things. You can tell it's well used and it still has many years of service left. So I thought okay, well let me polish this area. Let me go ahead and polish this area. <clears throat> and then I briefly polish this area. And I'm not sure if this will show up here. But you can see it's polished pretty good. Now, I will say, this didn't fix my problem, but it sure made the movement of the blade really, really smooth. So then I took the whole knife apart again, and I compared the uh, lock bar area with my 940 that was taken apart at the same time, and I noticed that the tolerances right in here we're just a little bit smaller, and we're talking like one hundredth of a millimeter smaller than what my 940 was. And I thought, well, that can't make sense because it's not enough material to even make a difference. Let me tell you, I was wrong. So, to make a long story longer, what I did was I pinned these two together. I made them as symmetrical as possible and I just took some 1500 grit sandpaper and polished or not polished but sanded just the top area where the access lock bar binds and I only did it right in this point and it was very very minimal don't go crazy but that fixed my problem. So, if all you guys buy a brand new Griptilian and you're having lock bar issues, just take a little bit of fine sandpaper and take just less than a hair of material out of that top part of your uh, lock bar area. I, I know this is the wrong thing. I don't even know what that's called. But it's where the lock bar binds on the blade with this back area. I'll show you. So see where that access bar rubs up against the top part of that area? Alright. So when your knife opens, access bar moves into place and it binds against that very top area and locks against the back part of your blade. And that's what I mean by just taking out a little bit of that material on the top. That's the friction that holds everything in place. One quick thing to note about this. The first time I saw this blade, when it was announced, I thought, oh, awesome. G10 scales. It's got standoffs. Cool. I'm going to pre-order this. I really wanted it. I thought it looked great. I like the sheep's foot. The G10 is way heavier than I thought it would be. That's not to say it's bad. It's just 
If you're used to the old Griptilians, it's noticeably heavier. Um, I still love this blade. Anyways, I hope that was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.